Hi, Craig Howard here. Uh, happy to be with you again this morning and just wanting to spend a couple minutes with you. Um, I woke up this morning and this one word kept popping into my head. And uh, that doesn't usually happen, but the word was truth. And so I just did some searching on the idea of truth and, and, and what, you know, what is truth? And I just searched the word truth in a, in a number of different ways and, and looked up scripture around the word truth. And that was sort of what I did for my morning devotion this morning. And I can't share with you everything that I found or we'd be here till this time tomorrow probably. But anyhow, I, I ran across the story about a... Uh, about a, a show, a game show that Fox, uh, I think it was Fox, did some years ago or some time ago or maybe, I don't know how long ago it was. Anyhow, they did this show where they were challenging people to tell the truth no matter what. And what they did was they would hook them up to this mega, um, mega lie detector and then they would ask them questions that people would really have a hard time answering truthfully. And it wasn't that they just asked them these questions, but they asked them these questions in front of their family and friends and co-workers, bosses, you know, the whole deal, girlfriends, whatever. They asked them questions like, would you ever cheat on your spouse or your girlfriend if you knew you could get away with it? Or uh, have you ever stolen from work? Or have you ever lied to get a job? Or you know, just things like that. Things that it would be hard enough to tell the truth to, about, but to do it in front of your family and friends and coworkers and so forth. And if if you could tell the truth, you could win up to five hundred thousand dollars. I don't know how many questions they ask. I, I never watched the show, but <laughs> very few people. I don't know if anybody ever won the five hundred thousand dollars. And the people that, that tried to be truthful got into all sorts of trouble with workers, co-workers, um, spouses. You know, it created all sorts of trouble and mayhem. So, you know, it's... it's <laughs> we live in a society where truth is becoming a casualty. Uh, we live in a society where people don't really want to look for truth, don't want to value truth, and don't know where to go for truth. You know, the Bible tells us over in um, Psalm 119, verse 160, it says, The entirety of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous judgments endure forever. The entirety of your word is truth. I love that word entirely. I looked it up in several different translations and it all kind of, you know, it all says the same thing, but I liked the way that the New King James emphasized that word the entirety. Another translation says the very essence of your word is truth. Uh, you want to find truth in this world that we live in today? You want to find truth in in your own life? The place to look is in God's word. And until we learn to value truth, and until we learn to, to understand how important it is to find truth in our lives, our lives are going to struggle. If you went to a auto mechanic and the mechanic tells you, hey, your car's great. I mean, this car is in perfect condition. Everything about it is right. You're good to go. And you jump in your car and you're going down the road and the brakes fail. You go back to your mechanic and say, why didn't you tell me the brakes weren't any good? And he says, well, I didn't want to hurt your feelings. You know, I want you to feel good about coming to my shop. I want you to feel good about, about being around me. Uh, I just, I didn't want to hurt you. I didn't want to bring you down. I didn't want anything like that to, to interrupt the relationship that we have. And so, yeah, I kind of, I kind of fudged the truth. The truth is your car's a wreck. Well... <laughs> You know, or if you go to the doctor and the doctor says, hey, man, you have the body of an Olympic athlete. You are in great shape. You, your body is, is equal to somebody half your age. And you go out of there feeling really good about yourself. And then a few days later, you have a heart attack. And you go back to the doctor and say, doc, what happened? You told me that my body was in great shape. Well, you know, I didn't really want to hurt you. I didn't want to I didn't want to make you feel bad about yourself. I didn't want to hurt the relationship that we were going to have with each other. I wanted you to feel good about coming to my office, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but the truth is you got the body of the Pillsbury Doughboy. You know, you <laughs> 
I mean, if 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 we don't value truth because we just want to make sure everything is fine and happy and everybody, you know, everybody feels good about being around us, uh, unfortunately, that's the way some churches operate. You know, we 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 don't want to tell the truth uh, because we don't want to offend somebody. We don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 7 verse 5, it is better to heed the rebuke of a wise person than to listen to the songs of a fool. It says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 9, do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices. We've got to learn the value of truth in our society and I fear that it's almost that it's almost become a dead item. Uh, you know, we have fake news now. We have uh, people that, that just sort of grab what facts. They mix truth with lies. Um, <clears throat> they, uh, uh, I, I read somewhere that, that uh, uh, China now no longer, because the Internet is so powerful and so much stuff uh, that is getting through that the Chinese used to censor out. <laughs> And they can't censor it all out. So now what they're doing is just flooding the internet with 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 misleading information, so that you don't know what is true and what's not. I mean, just just putting tons of stuff out there and overwhelming uh, the the people of China with false information or with just information. Turkey was doing some of the same thing uh, to the point where people that were from Turkey said, "I don't know what's true and what's not." In our own society, you know, we've got another election coming up. I, I actually dread the presidential election cycle because, it, for one thing, it lasts so long, and for another thing, is it just becomes so uh, twisted, and everybody is is putting out their version of what is right and what is true, and and you don't know what to believe and what not to believe. Uh, you don't know who you can trust and, 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 and who you can't. There's no ethics anymore. There's no value of truthfulness, even on the news anymore. You know, there was a day when newscasters just wanted to report the news. They just gave you the truth without their commentary. And they didn't try to, to put their spin on it. They didn't try to put their commentary on it. They didn't try to interpret it for you. They just gave you the information and let you do with it what you felt you needed to do. They gave you truth. But that's no longer the case. Every every I, I'm just about to the point where I don't even watch any of the network news anymore. Uh, and, and you say, well, doesn't that leave you uninformed? It does to a certain degree, and I don't like that. But we are in a time where it's like I don't know who to believe and I get so sick of hearing news commentators opinions and this is true on both sides of the this is true on both sides this is true in the liberal media and the conservative media they're both trying to spin everything in their direction and you just don't get the facts without commentary and 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 without their spin without their little twist being put on it to the point where you don't know what is true and what's not you don't know what is actual fact and it has actually happened and what is just something that a news program or a commentator has put on it, has spun on it to give you what they want you to believe and what they want you to understand. Truth is a valuable commodity and I'm going to tell you the only place you're ever going to completely find truth is within the Word of God. If you look within the Word of God, every the Bible says every word, every word. The very essence of your word is truth. Um, if I find it within the word of God, I can trust it. I can build my life around it. And, you know, I can't, you can't do that even with the things that I tell you. I mean, I can make mistakes. I, I won't intentionally lie to you, but I can make a mistake. I'm not, <laughs> I'm far from being infallible. Um, but you can go to the Word of God and you can trust it with your life. Its word, His Word is true. So this morning I want to challenge you to seek the truth of God. You know, seek truth, but seek it in the right place. Don't seek it on Fox News or NBC or CBS or, or ABC or CNN or any of the other places. That's You might get information there, but you won't always get truth. 
You're not going to find it in a particular politician because they're more concerned with getting themselves elected than they are with just sharing truth. They'll, they may share some truth with you, but it's going to be the truth that spins them, them into the best light. But if you want to find truth, then you go to the Word of God and you find truth there. Well, time is about up. Uh, I hope that this challenges you today to, number one, be a truthful person. Uh, don't don't try to shade the truth based on what's going to put you in the best light. Be truthful. Let your word count for something. Let it mean something. Number two, seek truth. Become a seeker of truth. And the place to do that is within the pages of the Word of God. Well, I hope this is a blessing to you today. I hope it's an encouragement to you today. I hope it challenges you today. And if it does, hope you'll share it with somebody. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you just want to copy the link and paste it into your Twitter account or paste it into your Facebook account or something else, you're, you're free to do that. Just click on share and then click on copy the link and you can copy it and, and send it wherever. If you're watching this on Facebook, share it with somebody else. If you're watching it on YouTube, hit subscribe. Uh, and let me know that you're, you're getting something from it. Well, time's up. I hope you have a great day. I hope it's a day that's filled with truth. And I will see you, Lord willing, tomorrow. Have a good one.